Jesus Christ, thank you for watching of God. You saw us on YouTube, you saw a very good version because it got better reasons, but you guys see Woolen Coverage and over this and other things. You have a patron, old gentleman, but super soft, good show, good show, good go check that out. And this part of it, we're talking about the movie and review it. Let's finish this movie, huh, babe? How'd I do? I feel like I wish people could just see the uncut of you just doing They can on Patreon. The intros and outros. You put the whole thing. I don't cut it. And it's uncut. So like all your all three intro exits. They have to and- watch them all on Patreon. <laughs> I don't cut those. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't cut it on Patreon. I, I didn't know that. When I say it's full uncut, it is full uncut. That would literally be why I would sign up. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're going to sign up. EdwardPatreon.com. <laughs>
This train leaves in 15 Gotta minutes. Gotta catch him on the train. What is it? He's at the same time. Forgive me. Maya? How did that happen? He's very, very speedy. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Where will we have? We'll check the catalog. What are you doing, Maya? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? This one day, one day, one day, one day, when you don't remember your mind. But... But I tell you, कि तुम ठीक हो और आज पता चला कि तुम भी उतने ही अकेले हो जितनी मैं खुशी और गम तो सब बांटते हैं मैं तुम्हारे साथ अपनी सजा बांटना चाहता हूँ क्या यह धूर इस ज़िंदगी मेरे साथ चीयों की माया था कट जल्दी कहो माया I love you too. Now, what are you doing? I'm in jail for 15 days. What? For the train to stop, I gave you the train. I gave you the full train. But the thoughts are that the road of this road is not going to end up with the road of this road. Well, you could have prevented that. <laughs> Poor sexy Sam. I know. What a bummer. The real star of the movie. <laughs> oh, sexy Sam. Um, what'd you think? Um, I mean, I enjoyed the movie. As a whole, um, I'm disappointed in a lot of my favorite people, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I just feel like there was a better way to go about that, you know? Yeah, this is, um, and movie-wise, I actually thought it was uh, quite well done uh, oh, by yeah, Karen Johar. It, was, um, it kept you invested for a you know, three-hour, ten-minute movie. It's a... It's a long movie. Um, it was funny. Kept you invested. It was funny. It was, um, I mean, invested by making you angry, I guess. Um, <laughs> and I can also, I don't know if the, the exact reasons why the audiences didn't like it per se, but I imagine one of them is one that now we've grown to understand. I don't... Like, Shah Rukh Khan has a lot of bangers of movies in terms of Oh, you could watch, sit and watch that over and over again. K through G, D L L J, Kuchu Kuchu Da Hai. A lot of different films that we've seen of Shah Rukh Khan's, and it's like rewatchability on them is insane. I don't ever want to rewatch it again. Yeah, not because it wasn't good. It's not the kind of movie that you want to revisit. The songs, for sure, though, the songs are bangers, and I and I know for a fact people revisit the songs all the time. Yeah. But I'm wondering if that's part of the reason. It's like, I people just don't want to... It wanna... doesn't make you feel good. <laughs> no. And Shah Rukh Khan makes you want to feel good. Yeah. Like, when you sit down... Yeah. When you're watching him, you just want to be like, oh, yeah, everything's great. Love is Love gonna is... Win. Yeah. I mean, I guess it did, technically. No. But your road you got there was wrong. No, I think the love did win, but it is not the correct route that they took. Yeah. Y yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I was for them getting a divorce the entire yeah, film. But I personally would have been okay if they were like, you know what? You screwed this up, so now you don't get love. 
That would have been a good ending. I'm, right? I'm, I'm always happy with Don happy endings. I would have been happy with that because I feel <laughs> like it was deserved because don't do that. <laughs> like, don't do that. Uh, well, they were all awful. Yeah. I I didn't. I God, I hated the gaslighting that Abhishek's character was doing. Cause I, did you see all this stuff he was saying? I was like, I, think, I loved you so much. You and my, I didn't see that once until okay. he almost lost her and he was trying to make a point and then he was very selfish even in that. Okay. I think that, you know, they've known each other since childhood. They've, you know, been together forever. And so he kind of the way he loved her like as a child into adulthood i think he just didn't know what truly loving a person was and he thought he was doing all the right things and he just wasn't well he's a grown ass man okay so he knows he well, doesn't he, he doesn't get that excuse that. okay he even said that when he came to her and doesn't he was like i was a child and i didn't know what i was doing but i've grown up now and I think that was good on him. He did some like soul searching and he got better and he improved himself. Um, and I think that's good. I will say that I, I think that his reaction in, you know, trashing the house was very telling. It was uh, very scary telling. And yeah. Uh, Nope, not something you want. Yeah. Uh, also, something not something you want. Shah Rukh Khan in this movie is a father. Oh my uh, gosh. Good lord. Seriously. Oh my god. Father goodness. of the year goes to literally every human on the planet. <laughs> uh, not named Shah Rukh Khan from this movie. Uh, yeah. So he not was, named Dev. Yeah, not named Dev. Um, yeah. He was all, the the most redeemable person in this was probably Preeti, even though like she had her faults of obviously base. I mean. Not showing up for her husband, not showing up for her child, making her career the essential aspect of the the relationship. You know, there's all there's all that. I feel everybody else had a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> not that you know, she definitely needs to work on those things for sure. Um, but I feel like she was probably the most redeemable one. Yeah. Everybody else, I don't know if you can. Fully redeem. Well, I feel like, yeah, Abhishek's character and Preeti's character were the only ones that had like soul searching and fixing. Yeah, I don't agree with Abhishek. Okay. Well, I do. I don't. I don't agree with the Abhishek. Uh, the take there. Uh, <laughs> I don't think people change that much. Um, okay. But. Shah Rukh Khan's character, um, pretty rough. Yeah. As a whole, man. The yeah. Only the only Especially time that he was like, 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 yay, Shah Rukh Khan was when he was romancing Ronnie. Was, but especially at, like, even when he was about to leave for Toronto, he's like, she's like, just keep in touch. Like, yeah, he better keep in touch. You guys have a kid. Like yeah, I feel like we just like just going to Toronto. Right, he's just leaving. And, like he's just gone. Like he's never coming Honestly, back. Honestly, it's probably better for that child. <laughs> Honestly, uh, <laughs> yeah, because he flinched when his dad was trying to touch him. <laughs> that is never a good sign. Always call CPS if you ever see that. Uh, <laughs> good lord. Um, like I said, it, it sounds like I'm ragging. I actually think the film as a whole was actually quite good. Oh, yeah. Quite no, well done. It was. Quite well done. Um, but it's like one of those films that's like, like very different, obviously. Very Bollywoodized, very early 2000s-esque with melodrama and all that kind of stuff. But like any kind of like marriage story where that deals with broken relationships and divorce and uh, affairs and all that kind of stuff, it's not something that you want to live in. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll I'll sit down and happily watch K3G every single day. Yes. I I don't know that I ever want to watch this again just because even though I watch the songs because the songs are great. Yeah. The it's songs just not really it's good. just not a world and people that you want to live with really. Yeah. Um. And I, I, not that that's the point of the movie. Um, right. The point of the movie I think was to tell a very very complex story that Bollywood had, and honestly still, 
Hats off to Karen Johar for trying. I mean, it was done well. Trying to tell a story um, that I don't know. When was this? Two thousand six. I don't know. I I don't even know if they're ready for it now. But uh, in for major Bollywood Karen Johar audiences, my favorite song was Big B and Baby Baby Mm. Beat song. It was the cutest thing ever. I needed to get a sexy Sam up on the wall. Yeah, I. Sexy Sam was the hero of the movie. I need more Sexy Sam in my life. Oh, his love for white ladies. (laughs) He loved them. And their bodies. He was hilarious. He was the Leonardo DiCaprio. No lady was over 25. Also, I just like, I can't even imagine how hilarious it would be to film this with your dad. Your actual dad. And he's like, hey, baby. That one scene uh, where... They thought they, like they th- the, that they the, thought that they were in the room. Yeah, was that was funny. really that was, funny. That was very funny. Um, yeah. All the songs were bangers. Yeah. Uh, even though I'd seen them before, but they were all absolutely bang- uh, Shankar Shankar Mahavadan is the uh, composer here. Um, Karen Johar screenplay. Hats off to you, buddy. Um, yeah, and a lot of people, um, yeah, because you remember that movie? Oh, no, you. I think your sister was here when we when I watched it. I really enjoyed it. It was with Topeka, and it was there was affairs going on. You remember that one that I told you about? I think your sister was here, so that's why you didn't watch it with me, but I watched it alone, like I was sitting in there. Because um, I knew it had to do with that, and you don't usually like movies that have to do with... Um, it's true. Infidelity and that kind of stuff. I don't. Um... I am somewhat against it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, I'm much more against people that are in very unhappy marriages staying in those unhappy marriages. No, 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 no. I agree with you, but... It's one thing they, if you actually love them still and you want to work at the marriage. But they clearly didn't. No, they don't. None of them did. And what the first telltale sign everything was gone wrong and they should have just ended their relationships is when they reached out to each other and they're like, let's be friends in this and like have somebody to talk to (laughs) because our, our lives are miserable with our partners. Big red flag because if you're not talking to your partner and you're talking to somebody else, you're already cheating. Mm -hmm. Emotional cheating is a thing. It is. Um, That's usually how it all starts. So it's like right then and there, they should have been like, you know what? It's the beginning of the movie. You could have cut it off by like two hours. Yeah, yeah. Who knows a good divorce lawyer? Huh? Like, you know what? We're not happy in our relationships, but I think I want to give this person a go. Um, Here's the divorce papers. Hope you have a good life. Let's cry for a little bit and then make love to Shavar Khan. Yeah, and then the other two people while In hurt, wedlock and not shit on the Bible! <laughs> <laughs> the other two people while hurt, they're not drugged through crap and made to feel like completely betrayed. But it's okay. Later on, they'll ask you to be her best man at your mm. wedding. Yeah. That's weird, Abhishek. No, it wasn't. They grew up together. They were basically like... That's weird. <laughs> it's not and weird. And you're no longer childhood friends after, you, after you've after you had a marriage and a divorce. Yeah, but that's the other thing. He said he realized... He's selfish. Okay. And she's not? Yes. Just saying. Just in, he's, in a, he's a childish selfish, and she is just <laughs> actually, you know, well, she's just sexually selfish, I guess. <laughs> she's sexually selfish. Um, because her husband thought her idea of a fun weekend was to clean the house. Oh, also? Yeah, I'm supposed to like that guy. No. Also? No! (laughs) If, if that ever happened to me where I just like, was like all dressed and ready to go and you had a bunch of friends over, I would die. (laughs) Fall over dead. The end. (laughs) I can't. I don't know why they just didn't like quietly file out. Yeah, like another thing is how selfish Abhishek is. He didn't even think about her. Protect her. If that happened in my moment, I'd be like, God, get the fuck out of here (laughs) for multiple reasons. (laughs) For multiple reasons. But also, like, 
Uh, like quietly. She, she doesn't know that you're she here. She can never know. He's selfish, just like his father from K3G before him. <laughs> we should rank the worst fathers in Bollywood history. Yeah. Uh, well. Well, SRK in this movie. Amitabh's got competition after seeing this. <laughs> He's uh, in a very different way. Uh, Please do not berate your children and make them feel what small. What an idiot child I've raised. And tell them you're going to put them in a dress. No, and you can't hug me. I'm going to hug you. Come here. Violin. Oh my gosh. I get it. The father relationships in India are different, but that doesn't make a right. <gasps> Not okay! <laughs> Anyways. Yikes. Uh, not going to take their advice for Leland. Anyways, I did enjoy the movie. Yeah, no, I thought the movie was a very good movie. I think it was done well. Directing-wise, in terms of Karen Joe, probably one of his better ones in terms of um, how well it was uh, actually done. I mean, it was dated in terms of like some of the melodrama and some of the yeah. some of the stuff like that, but you know, that's to be expected um, uh, from 2006. I do appreciate all the comedy because it is heavier subject yes. matter. So that was good. I feel like if it hadn't been there, I would have enjoyed it a lot less. Well, it would have been like the marriage story, basically. Yeah. Yeah. For that sure. doesn't have any comedy. Yeah. <laughs> There's no comedy in that movie. Yeah. This has songs and funniness. Mm -hmm. And SRK. And Sexy Sam. Sexy Sam. <laughs> so. The hero of the movie. Agreed. How much abakshan do I have up here right now? We have, have a couple. I have them from Cholet. And then, oh, he's up there. Yeah. He's Maybe here. I'll just replace, because that's basically Cholet era. Yeah. I can replace Sexy Sam up there. Yeah, but you need the picture from the frame. Yeah, with I the do. Glasses, I need the frame. The blue yeah. glasses. Yeah, I think for sure I need to get Sexy Sam up on the wall. I think it's on that uh, Bollywood bucket list, too. Is it? I think so. Should be. We have this little uh, 100 movie Bali bucket list, little scratch off here. Anyways, enjoy the movie uh, I, as much as I could um, from a movie like this. <laughs> I could see there was such like hot contention about this movie. And I think uh, I think I know why. Um, I don't I, I don't understand it if you think it's for the quality of the film, because I actually think the quality is quite nice. I mean, for K Karen Johar, I mean, you have to put it in that box. I wanted more cudgel. It's <laughs> she was there, but there wasn't enough of her. Yeah, she was there. She could have fixed him. She should have fixed him. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get another uh, cudgel watch along. Yes, with Shabra Khan. Actually, I don't know how many many more there are. Well, I still haven't seen. My name is Khan. So, <laughs> I know comments will remind me. <laughs> you have a lot of movies that you need to see. Yeah, but she's in there. Yes, she is. But that's not a... That's not like all these other ones. Like, it's not is like... Is Shah Rukh Khan like this? No, he actually gives a quite a good performance okay, of so a... Okay, so then uh, I'm in. I forget if he has autism or if he... What is he? What does he have? Um, That's a good movie, though. More serious as opposed to, like, K3G. That's fine. And poo. That's fine. Uh, anyways... Let us know what you thought about the movie. If you like it, if you don't like it. Hope you enjoyed the watch long. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut of version because of copyright reasons. If you like to see a full and cut version of this and other things, you know, for Patreon or channel memberships, I'll put a link in the description below, pin come so you can go check that out. Let us know what our next watch along with Steph should be. Shah Khan or otherwise. Try to make it more of a romance Shah Khan as opposed to cheating dickhole dad Shah Khan. <laughs> Uh, hands down, your most unlikable Shah Rukh Khan character? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Even when he was a villain and he was Oh, loving. no, I love him in that. <laughs> love him. Yeah. Um, still don't hate any of these characters. As much as I hated Shah Rukh Khan's brother in that one movie. What was yeah. his name? Lucky? Lucky. Ugh. Which I thought the boss was lucky at first. I think it was just his hair, but I did think it was him at first. What was his name? Jay. Jay? No. Yeah? Yes. Arjun Rampa? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah.
Okay, I don't think it's him. I recognized him from something. Yeah, we've seen him in some stuff, but I don't think it's that guy. But I think it was just the length of his hair that made me like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, anyways, I don't hate anybody in this movie like I hated him. It's probably one of my most, might be my most hated character in all of Yeah, you really Bollywood should not let that I should go. do a ranking of my least favorite characters ever you... in, in Indian cinema, and he would be one. That was like there'd be a couple people from this on the list. Only take away from but that, that would be God tier for my hatred for Lucky. Yeah, it's awful. Let us know what our next watch along should be. Uh, if you liked, if you didn't like it, and all that other stuff, let us know down below. And uh, out.